Hey what's up guys, Jacob Production here and today I'm going to make a quick review and unboxing review for Elephone P8000 So this one is currently named as the most worth buying phone So why they name it as the most worth buying phone? So today I'm going to explain to you the function and body part of this phone Alright, so first of all I'm going to explain the body part first As you can see there's a 5.5 inch screen here which is quite big for you to watch movie and for playing games yeah now let's see the video resolution yeah, you can see this HD full HD the color is quite good the contrast and all, all stuff this looks so fine here yeah, it's good for you for playing games and watching videos movie and now as you can see there's a front camera over here and the front camera is only 5 megapixels so which means you can't take a good selfie and there's a proximity sensor here yeah. the proximity sensor so let's have a test on the proximity sensor you have to use the specific uh, covers provided by Elephone so that you can use the proximity sensor it's not like downloads and apps then you can run it see for other apps when your finger or anything block, block the proximity sensor here it will automatically off so this is different, it's kind of different here Okay What if I use my finger to see? Yeah, so the proximity works fine also Okay So now For the back part you can see there's also a back camera over here the back camera is not that good as well it's only 12 megapixel mm, but mm, majority i think 12 megapixel is enough yeah and there's a finger fingerprint scanner here the logo the elephant logo and there's a quite, quite there's a few words here Keep expecting and be surprised. Yeah, it surprised me. <laughs> Alright. And now I'm going to remove the back case and show you guys what's inside the back case. Yeah, this one is this one can take off the back case. Ouch, 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 ouch. It's not easy to remove the back case. You can see my my finger new really scratches here. Oh my god. That's okay. Okay. Finally I, I open it. Alright. There's a you know what is this right? There's an SD card slot. You can extend it up to 64 gigabytes. Yeah. And the SIM card 2, SIM card 1. And here it is. The 4165 mAh large battery. It's a built-in battery. You cannot remove it. Yeah. It cannot be removed. And don't attempt to remove it. It may break your phone or something. Now let's see what is inside the Elephone P8000 box. It's quite good design here. There's a warranty card under the elephant. Uh, I bought it from Malaysia, so the warranty card is under Malaysia. Elephone Malaysia. And there's a quick start guide here. And 
also they got a free screen protector yeah. okay so this phone they doesn't have any earphone yet so you have to buy it yourself okay here's the earphone adapter and the USB cable that's all inside the box so now I'm going to explain the inside part of this phone first of all I'm going to test on the fingerprint scanner here you can have so I think you guys might probably think that it's the fingerprint scanner working since the brand is not that popular now okay now we test on it okay first attempt Yep, still can access as well. The attempt. Yep. So what if I try other finger? I try me the finger. Nope. Please enter correct fingerprint. Okay, let's try another finger. Still. And I use back the finger that I used to unlock the phone. Yep. The fingerprint works, works fine. So now I'm going to explain the function part of this phone, see whether their system is functioning well or is function not that well. Alright, so about phone. So you can see they are using Android version as a 5.1 lollipop. Okay. And there's a few things here. View versions a different P8000. Okay. And let's see the RAM of the phone. This phone contains a 3 gb RAM so you can play games or open any social apps then you won't get it. You will lag. I got 1.6 gig of RAM free here. Okay, I already open all the apps here in the same time, so see when I open it back, will it be lag or what? Okay. Yep, it's inside the same page here. It won't jump off or jump to black screen, and you have to restart the apps again. Okay, we check. Facebook. Yeah, it's all inside the same page. Instagram. Yeah, it's inside my profile here. Oops. Setting. Yep. You can see this. There's no lag here with the tree get RAM process inside. Yeah. So if you want to remove the background running app, you just wipe it, wipe, 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 left or right, it's up to you. Right, after RAM card and now we are going to move on to the GPU and CPU. So for the GPU card, they are using ARM Mali and that's not Adreno here. They are not using Adreno as their GPU card. CPU, they are using MediaTek and not Snapdragon. Alright. So let's see. For my previous phone, uh, my previous phone is Mi 4 and they use Adreno and Snapdragon as a duo so it can play games, it can run the game smoothly. So let's see MediaTek Duo ARM Mali see the graphic and the gaming performance, see whether it's good or not. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to test on the Mortal Kombat here. I'm sure you guys know Mortal Kombat, right? Mortal Kombat. Let's see the graphics, yeah. 
Instagram. Okay, I will see you too. Oops. What are two finger to block? Hmm. Come hit me. Okay, there's a fatalities here. Kids who are below 18, please watch it with your parents. Okay, there's one more to finish him. Mm, oh, ah, uh, oh shit. Ew. Yeah, that's the best part of the game. It's a special part of the game. You can't see it on. Uh, I mean, you can't watch it on Tekken or King of Fighter. <laughs> All right, so there's a game review. Okay, done my game review here. Let's play one more game. It's a PS One emulator, and I'm going to play one of my favorite childhood RPG game here. It's called the Eager Shooting Hero. Yeah, it's PS One graphics, so it's not that 3D. Okay. Go for better. Mm. You guys should have a try on this game. Is is this game is something so like Final Fantasy? Yeah, it's RPG. With those enemies, okay. where's the map? Mm, give me some time, sir. Just make a review here. Mm, not here. Oh, it's here, it's here. I can show you the better mood. One down, two to go. Oh, it takes a long battle here. And my girl is almost done here.
Bro, he ran away. Why don't you go? Finally, I finished the battle. Yeah, here is the game review of the PS1 emulator. It's not that bad, right? It runs smooth on everything. Okay. So, here's my RAM review and the graphic card review. Now it's time for the bad reviews of this phone. So, for such a budget phone, I think there must be some things that is bad about this phone. There's disadvantages about this phone. So the first thing is the camera here. Yeah, the camera is not that good as iPhone, Samsung, Sony. So. I will show you guys some photo that I captured it before with this phone. Just show you the inside part of the camera selfie. Oh hi. Okay. And here's another bad part of this phone which is LED light this phone only got one color on its LED light which is only blue color so you don't know whether you receive a message from uh, WeChat, WhatsApp or Messenger so so for me I think there is one of the bad part of this phone lah. because all of the Android phone got different LED color for example like for me last time I used my phone is WhatsApp purple color, WeChat is a green color and Messenger is blue color and you don't know if you are if you got a missed call and for most of the Android phone it will show red color LED light here but this phone is only blue color yeah that's a bad part of this phone so now I'm going to show you guys the LED notification here when I receive call. Mom's call you or your girlfriend's call you. You can't set it. Alright, so when your phone is out of battery, the LED light will start blinking, blinking, and blinking to remind you that you have to charge your phone. And here is the notification color. See, blue color. So yeah. this one is when I receive my missed call. Yeah. Alright, so that's all my review today on Elephone P8000. It's such a quite, it's a, it's a quite nice phone actually for such a budget. You can play games, you can run smooth on social media. So I think you guys, if you are considered for going to buy a budget phone, you can have a look on Elephone P8000. Um, you can get it like 700 to 800 Malaysia ringgit okay, for Malaysian. Yeah, if for uh, uh, US dollar I think is around 200 plus yeah all right so if you got any question you just leave me a comment below yeah
That's all my review today. That's all for today. And it's Jacky Brush here, and peace out.